You know I'm a baseball fan. You know who I'm rocking with. Hopefully in the postseason they can do it. Because you know that dream matchup would be the Yankees and the Dodgers. Aaron Judge against Shoya Atani. The all the chips. But anyway, let's get to it. This the, the new format, 12 teams. Baseball trying to buy for a few days. New different concept. I don't know if I buy all the gimmickry with baseball, but we will see what it all means. It's officially the last day as I'm talking right now because Atlanta and the Mets got play a doubleheader because of the hurricane and the storms. The Diamondbacks on the outside looking in need some help. In the National League, the Dodgers are the top dogs. The Phillies are in and Milwaukee won. And then you got San Diego. And everything comes down to Atlanta, to the Mets, and Arizona. And it's tiebreakers galore. So Atlanta's actually in the catbird seat. The Mets and Arizona, it's going to be interesting. So you know how it goes in baseball. There'll always be a bottom seed that could get hot at the right moment. That's the reason why we like baseball in the postseason. Unlike the other sports, upset alert still matters. More so than the NBA or the NFL, really, when you think about it. I'm not saying that lower, lower seed can't win in those sports because it has happened, but there's something about baseball where you get more get hyped get hyped about it. The American League is pretty pretty cut and, cut and dry. The Yankees are the top seed. Houston, their arch nemesis, again, they go again. And then you have Baltimore, Detroit, Cleveland, and Kansas City. And the AO, the AO Central was the hottest happening division, if you think about it, because uh, you have Detroit, Cleveland, Kansas City all coming out of there. So that's, that's pretty incredible. New York and Baltimore the AO, at the AO East and the AO West was just Houston. So that was an interesting division, an interesting, uh, you know, uh, situation. I'm looking forward to how it turns out this year. There will definitely be a new World Series winner since Texas didn't make it this year. So that's the one thing about baseball. You never can go into one year to the next knowing what's going to happen, but it's compelling. Um, of course, the Yankees and the Dodgers are the, are the pick that most people would want. But then Houston, who's been a juggernaut, and you can say, oh, they've cheated or they this and that, but they've been the most dominant team the past 10 years. I don't think you can argue against Houston's always a, you got to go through, and if you're a Yankee fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, and Atlanta's coming back to their old perennial thing. The Mets got rid of Buck Showalter. Wouldn't that be something if a team goes to World Series and was to win after Buck Showalter leaves? Because that, for four rings for Joe Torre, one for Bob Brinley in Arizona, that would be something else. Padres have a strong hitting force. Wouldn't that be something if they face uh, Juan Soto in the World Series? Because the Padres... Uh, they were with the Dodgers this year. They they was balling. No one's taking Milwaukee serious because they look at the 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 NL Central is kind of puny. But don't sleep on them. They could definitely be a problem. So you never know with any of these situations. But that's why they play the game. So anyway, that's my thoughts and takes about the baseball postseason. By ready to set it off. If you're a baseball fan, who's your team? Who you got? What would you like to see? Tell me below in the comment section and we can talk about it. All right, please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit. If you like, hit that membership. Stay safe. Stay well. Stay true. Stay honest. Stay cool. Stay composed. Stay well. And we'll come out one time. Peace.